Okay, let's go kill some more orcs. Oh. Like totally, that's like the totally the new end thing. Like, like oh, seventeen, God. like seventeen magazine, and totally says that orc killing is like the new thing. It's the new, the new fancy thing. Yeah, so my trendy. So trendy. Like, Hashtag kill orcs. The ring is still pointing this way, so I guess I'll go down this way. Never mind, we won't cross that bridge. You will just come down here and kill more orcs. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure that people are going to probably look at this video and they're going to be like, you know, why are they still in Mirkwood? Why are they still in Mirkwood? Why are you level 100 and I'm still 65? <laughs> Well, that's probably because, you know, I was a little bit more consistent in my play. Yes, but, but I mean, you know, they, they'll be like, jeez. Jeez. Oh, God, I can't get up. Okay. Your little elf, uh, elf legs. You don't have elf legs. I have dwarf legs. Just okay. Picture. Elf legs. <laughs> elf legs and a dwarf. <laughs> Be pretty special there. <laughs> Itty bitty little body and these long, like, elegant legs. Yeah. Just protruding from the torso. No, but it's like, I kind of imagined them with, like, fishnets. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did too. <laughs> kind of like the boots, you know? Yes! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, actually, there is a ring across the bridge. Okay, then why did it lie to me when it said that the ring was back? I don't know. Maybe it was a different bridge. Hello, you ugly mofo. Nobody likes you. Go away. Please die. It's dead. Don't you worry. Dude. Okay, there's a ring over here. Oh! Yes, indeed. What? Kavush! Uh-oh. Trouble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Thick thrug. Well, I gotta kill him, so... That was part of the epic questing. Okay, well... And this, quest complete. This, this dildo over here. <laughs> what? The one that I'm smacking? Yes, that one. I'm surprised that you called him a dildo. He is a dildo. Oh my god. Okay. I got way into listening to those stupid Reddit stories today. <laughs> Oh yeah, the ones that you were you kept linking to me today, yeah. I think I listened to like three hours of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there working and then I was like, you know, this is kind of interesting. I want to keep listening because I was going to watch NCIS and yeah, that, that didn't happen. Well, at least you found something interesting to keep you um, entertained. Yes. Yes, indeed. I mean, you gotta admit though that these some of those stories are pretty freaking creepy. Yeah, they they really are. I mean, I've had some creepy things happen, but those are pretty impressively creepy. Yeah, like whether they are true or not, it's still pretty out there. A lot of them, I could see them being true because I mean, they weren't like over the top weird, and no. they weren't like ghost stories per se they were just like weird crap that i could see happening <laughs> yeah or like you kind of like run into a person that turns out to be a murderer or a rapist or something like that you know it's funny because one time now that i'm thinking about it <laughs> oh my god me and my friends were just uh we were walking in the woods because we used to like to go up into the forest be behind your house and we're walking around up there, and they have, like, a, an abandoned strip mine up there. Really? And a lot of people have dumped their garbage and stuff, so... There was old shag carpet and stuff. We actually found an entire cougar skeleton up there. Ew. Yeah, it was interesting. But, um... Anyways, so we were, like, walking through the area, and we looked down, and there's, like, this big old circle on the ground. We're like, that's weird. And then we look up, and there's, there's like, two dogs just sitting there. We're like, what are those dogs doing there? That's really weird. Just a couple dogs sitting in the forest. Hmm. And then we noticed a person. <laughs> oh. Hunched over. He was super drunk. So his head was kind of like hanging down. And he looked up at us. 
He's like, hey, have you seen my tent? I think someone stole it. Did oh you my guys God. take my tent? Oh He's my like, God. Holy crap. So um, three of us started hightailing it up the hill, and I've never run up a hill that fast before. It was almost like a vertical hill. Oh my God. So we're hightailing it up the hill, and the other three are like, no, don't run. He'll think we stole his tent. And I'm like, he's drunk, and he has two very large dogs. I don't care. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we hightailed it up the hill, and, like, he started kind of coming towards us, and he had, like, let his dogs off their leashes. And I was just like, he's going to kill us all. <laughs> oh, my God. So we got up and over the hill, and we didn't see him again, but he was following us, and it was really, really creepy. Oh, God. And, uh, the, the craziest thing was, I think we gotta go down these stairs, but, um, the craziest thing was, is the next day I went to the supermarket, and yeah. there was a wanted poster, and he looked just like the guy that was drunk in the forest. Oh, the man. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell the police about that, or what? No, because I couldn't say exactly where it was, and he probably had moved on since we all tripped over him. Oh, yeah, probably. So I didn't think much about it until I was like, holy crap. Because our parents didn't believe us. <laughs> like, there was a weird guy in the woods, and they're like, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> like, oh, no, really, there was a weird guy in the woods. Oh my god, that that is actually pretty creepy, to be honest. It was it was slightly terrifying, and I mean we were only like twelve and thirteen, so. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I've ever had. Well, I think the closest experience I've had was probably like um, venturing onto this person's farm. But it was kind of abandoned, so, it, you know, it, it wasn't really much of a farm. A ghostly maybe... farm. Well, it was just, like, kind of, like, we knew it was a farm, but there was not really any animals or anything in particular. Yeah. So we just kind of, like, meandered about a bit, just having to look around casually. Not really, we weren't really trying to get into the house or anything like that. But then we see the guy come out of the house, and we're kind of like, Oh, okay, let's just get out of here right now. Right now. Right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, that's the closest thing that I can think of. My, um... My friend used to live way out into the boonies, and there used to be this old kind of, like, trailer house, and an old man used to live there. Yeah. He died. Oh, boy. And so it was just sitting there. For a long time. Oh, wow. And um, I don't know if they went in it because it was abandoned or what, but they ended up going in there. And she said that she was in the back room of the trailer thing, if you can call it a room. And she looked in the closet and the clothes were moving. And there was nobody in that place with them. That is fucking creepy. Yeah, I know, right? I was just like, wow. And then she, you know, and then of course she had to tell me exactly where it was in, like, regards to their property. And I'm like, oh, that's great. It's, like, right outside your window. Fantastic. <laughs> you seem a little bit lost, by the way. Yeah, I'm looking for some battle plans, and they say they're, like, right here. Oh, okay, then. then let's go up. Let's go in, because they're, they will be here. Anyway, so, yeah, uh, right outside your front window. Yeah, I was like, that's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that was pretty <Very> awesome. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it was interesting. Like, one time she said she was out walking because it's fluorescent and, like, well, this whole area, it was very much, um, there was a lot of, like, rituals and Indian stuff that went on out here. Yeah. And uh, one time, I don't know if it was something to do with the Indians or if it was something more devious. <laughs> But, um... Oh, question. Do you have to, like, kill the, this guy up here? Probably. He, okay. I'm gonna go and start aggroing him. So, yeah, continue with your story. Okay. But, yeah, so... She was out walking one day, and... They went behind this rock, and they found a skeleton. <laughs> Holy of shit. Of a person. 
and I don't know if it was like a child or I think she said it was a pretty small skeleton so there's a good chance that it was a child and I'm just like that's pretty bad yeah that's pretty messed up so yeah they don't know if it was like something to do with the Indians or if it was something more nefarious but okay I got another I'm thinking he's up there okay uh, you know there's some really weird shit happening in, that happens around in the uh, in the world oh. he, okay look I can take care of it you don't have to worry it's got one of those shiny there stuff. you see okay, it's gone I, I didn't need him I need something over this way I'm guessing he might be up there where? Um, I'm not sure. The ring is pointing this way. Okay. Oh, good lord, there is a big drop. Yeah. Round this... the drop a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we can do this gently and gracefully. Alright. Jump! Ah! I did not break myself. I yeah. am impressed. Oops, let's dismiss my cat. You and I, we've kind of become experts on kind of like um, trying to, to jump avoid and not die. Yeah, jump in or break your legs to, to some should, extent. I should have that where our characters make a manual how to jump and not die. Yeah, exactly. First, find a soft spot Best to land on. Best in Middle Earth. <laughs> okay, it is in this area. I'm still in combat. What the fuck? So am I. Oh, hello. Oh ugly, God. ugly poisoner thing. Nobody likes you. Go away. Poof. Alright, no longer in combat. Okay, we gotta kill this thing and get to... Ah, some battle plans. Thank you very much. Yas. Anyway. I need these. Why, okay. Warg, what are you doing in here? And now there's something else they need to kill here. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the big guy. Where is he? Oh, he's up here. Okay. He's up Let's here? Let's go. Yeah. Tally who? Uh-oh. I aggroed something. Oh, here he is. Your feet must be really stinky because you've got clouds of something coming off of them. Alrighty, frighty. Uh, do you want to give me a toot toot? Oh, crap. <laughs> Give you a toot toot and oh crap. And then I'll crap. No. <laughs> no, this is not that kind of channel. Okay, yes. I need a toot toot and then I shall. Hang on, I'm gonna make it. Teleporte. No, oh, and there's another statue. You know, for these being statues of Sauron, do you think that they would probably put some more effort into making them? Yeah, they're pretty sloppy. They are. It's it's so sad. Uh, oh my god. I'm just I'm just having a look at Dolguldur right now and it's like eh. <laughs> eh. I dread when you have to do um what's the name of that one? Samoth Ghoul, that's the one I dread that you'd have to do. Oh yeah. Yep. It's terrible. You got like these um, evil lore masters that can throw you over the walls of Dol Guldur and make you fall to your death. Oh, well isn't that wonderful? It is. It's wonderful, isn't it? Okay, I've gotta go this way. But, you know, if we have enough people and we have the right people, it can go pretty easily. Let's see, the next one... Is the students of Gorathol. And mm. I have to collect spell tomes and defeat fell spirits. Mm. That's part of the epic quest. Okay. Okay, there's another one over here somewhere. I see it around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, you're up here on the hill. Sparkle, sparkle. 
Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! I believe in miracles! Okay... That was exciting. Okay, let's see, that one's done, so I'm gonna deselect that for now, and that means we gotta go this way for the current quest. All right. Up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. What the hill? What the hill? Oh my god. Yep. Well, I guess oh. this, I guess this will be a good place to end the video. Welcome to Dol Guldur, Chris. Hello, this is Dol Guldur. Isn't it fancy and beautiful? Yes, it is. Home of the Witch King. No, not the Witch King. The uh, fucking Necromancer. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. I'm getting all my lore mixed up. It's just so much of it. It's so hard to. It's so hard for me to read. Eh. It is. All right, well, here we are. Give me a horn, just in case. I like how I have this really dark shadow.